Hello makers and viewers alike. Today we'll be talking about this device, which is a Backyard Brains Myograph. It measures the amount of potential that you build up from flexing. And we'll be talking about how you can use this shield not only to be stacked on an Arduino Uno, but also use it to freely attach to any kind of Arduino. And I mean any. For today, we'll be using the Arduino Metro Mini, which you can buy on Adafruit.com. It's about $15, about half the price of an Arduino Uno. Now, what exactly does the Backyard Brains Myograph do? Well, it measures the amount of muscle activity produced. So if I were to flex like this, then it would measure high levels of muscle activity. And if I were to relax it, it would show low levels. So, for those who want to keep track of your muscle activity and how well you're exercising, then you could just hook yourself up to this. For more information on how this works, check out Backyard Brains, which will be in the links in the description below. Here is the Metro Mini, which is the equivalent of a miniaturized Arduino Uno. Has the same code, same IDE, and is excellent for miniaturizing projects. And that's one thing that I would like to do. As you can see, the Metro Mini can still take data like the regular Arduino Uno using the Spiker Shield. And it gives data that accurately measures the signal from your muscle. Now, if you were to add an OLED to this circuitry, you wouldn't have to use a computer to read the value of the myograph. All you would have to look at is an OLED, like seen here. As you can see, as I continue to flex, the value increases and is shown on the OLED. As I release, it goes back to zero. Here's how you connect your shield. Take a red wire like this and use it to plug into the 5-volt pin on your Metro Mini and then hook it up to the corresponding pin on your, on your myograph shield. This can be done by using an Arduino Uno as a reference, since that's the one it's made for. Next, do the same with the ground pin. This should be about one pin away. When the powers are hooked up, the green LED should light up, as seen here. For your input, connect it where on the Arduino Uno would be analog zero, and hook it up to any analog of your particular choice on your Arduino Uno, or in this case, the Metro Mini. To connect your OLED to your Arduino, first take a red wire for your power and attach it to the 5 volts pin on it. Then, attach the red pin to the VCC pin on your OLED. It should be labeled on your device. Next, take a ground pin and attach it to the ground on the Arduino, and then connect it to the ground of the OLED. These should line up horizontally with each other on the same pins which we connected earlier, so you can use those as references to keep track. To connect the remaining two pins, you're going to need two separate colored wires, which I preferably choose yellow and green for. First, you're going to need to connect a data pin. For that, use a yellow wire to follow by my color code. So, data can be connected using A4 on the Arduino. So, just attach it there, and then attach it to SDA, as labeled on the OLED. This is your data pin. Next, take a green wire and use that as your clock pin, which you will attach to A5 on your Arduino. Then attach it to SCL, which should be on your OLED label. Don't be intimidated by the code size, it's actually quite simple. We'll be putting this on GitHub for everyone to view and edit for themselves. When setting up for your experiments, attach electrodes to your alligator clips, which will be attached to your spiker box myograph. That way, you can set it up on your body. Make sure that the ground is usually on a place that you're not going to be using or focusing on, like in this case, my hand. Then put your other electrodes on your body on the muscle of focus. In this case, I'm putting it along my forearm where I will be flexing. As you can see, it's not just limited to your forearm, it's also useful for all of your arm, and you can try experimenting with other parts of your body, like your legs. Since we know we can shrink down the Arduino to size, what about the shield? 
Wouldn't it be wonderful to have a device this powerful to be about the size of this, such that you can use it for complex prosthetics, or perhaps for controlling a robot without having a physical control, only your hand to do it. Special thanks to Backyard Brains for making the pioneering technology for the myograph, as well as allowing us to be able to perform this experiment in the first place. Check out their website and other cool projects that you can do with their technology. And loyal viewers, keep watching and stay tuned for more interesting projects.